Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera and a very good morning to the sessors, Dr. Sir or Madam. My name is Mama Akmal bin Kamrudin and today I would like to share with you my FYP1 title which is the Automated Lateral Radiographic Holder. Okay, for the research background, medical imaging is actually a process of imaging of the patient's body for the purpose of diagnostic or in need of a treatment. So as you can see from the slide, there's a picture of a collimator of an X-ray machine. So although the collimator is actually very flexible to move around the X-ray table, it is actually very hard to capture a lateral image of the patients without the help of an assistive device. So this project, the lateral radiographic holder is used to assist and help the radiographer to take lateral images of the patients. For the problem statement, the radiographers are having problems in positioning the patients in capturing lateral X-ray images because most patients that came through the emergency room in a traumatic conditions and it can also lead to higher risk of damage being done to the patients as they are forced to move while being injured and this can cause poor quality to X-ray images due to mispositioning of patient's body and the misalignment of anti-scatter grid used in X-rays and cause the cut-off grid effect as shown in the diagram below. Okay, the objectives of the study is to develop an automated assistive device for X-ray imaging in lateral view. Second is to study the factors of X-ray image quality, which is the third angle of X-ray cassette and the distance between patient and the X-ray cassette. Lastly, to ease the patients from moving and changing postures when taking X-ray images in lateral view. The significance of the study is to help the radiographer to capture X-ray images in lateral view. And second one is to prevent any further injuries done to the patient. As you can see the, on the picture below, the radiographer tries to put a polystyrene sponge underneath the patient's back. So this can lead to high risk of damage to the spinal cord and lastly to centralize the patient's x-ray image and avoid the cut off grid effect when capturing the x-ray image. So on the example of x-ray image, on the right is using the assistive device and on the left is not using the assistive device. So this happens due to the cassette, x-ray cassette and patient's body not centralized. For literature review, the one shown and featured on the slide is among the articles and journals found throughout the research. So for the first one is the true view pillow for knee radiography. It has more views than the lateral view as shown on the pictures on the right. It has merchant view, sunrise view and tunnel view. It is simple to use and hygienic but a bit bulky in design and expensive. It is also used to assist the radiographer in performing the knee x-rays so the patient does not need to change their position for different view of the knee x-rays. Second one is the application of a ultrasonic sensor for measuring distances in robotics. So it uses an ultrasonic sensor module and a microcontroller. So this study is referred to for its configuration of the ultrasonic sensor with the microcontroller for distance measuring in the lateral radiographic holder. For the third one, the pole tilt monitoring system using MEMS, accelerometer and beagle bone black, which uses an accelerometer and a beagle bone black as a microcontroller. The accelerometer has three axes, which increase the accuracy of the tilt angle measurement. It is less complex for configuration with a lower budget and the last one is the design of tilt sensing mouse glove device using Arduino Uno which uses the accelerometer and also Arduino Uno R3. So this study is referred to for the configuration of accelerometer with Arduino Uno for tilt angle sensing in the lateral radiographic holder. For the next slide, the block diagram is consists of the input, the processor and the outputs. For the input, we have the accelerometer at the SR335 to measure the tilt angle of the X-ray cassette and then we have the ultrasonic sensor module HCSR04 to measure the distance between the patient and the X-ray cassette and then for the processor, we have the Arduino Uno R3 and the microcontroller Atmega328 embedded with the Arduino Uno 
and then for the output we have the LCD display and the buzzer the LCD display will display all the measured parameters and the buzzer will trigger a warning to the user or radiographer next we have all the hardware and electronic components needed in producing the lateral radiographic holder we have the ultrasonic sensor the celerometer LCD display Arduino Uno R3 and the prototype body design Okay, moving on to the next slide which is the flowchart of the project so we start off by initializing the project and switching on the power button and then the device will automatically measure the tilt angle of x-ray cassette film and at the same time measure the distance between the x-ray cassette film and the patient the LCD display will then display all the measurement for tilt angle and distance and then the system will also check whether the holder is perpendicular to the x-ray table or not if the holder and the x-ray cassette is not perpendicular or is not in the expected angle the buzzer will trigger a warning to the radiographer and the radiographer will have to adjust the tail angle until it is perpendicular to the x-ray table so this is the gun chart of the project schedule so for FYP1 we'll be focusing on literature review and FYP2 for the project assembly and testing and in the next slide we have the internal design and the external design so for the internal design it is actually the circuit diagram or the schematic diagram that is constructed in Proteus so we have the Arduino module, the ultrasonic sensor module, the LCD display and because there is no available module for the accelerometer so we have replaced it with uh, three sets of LDR which is connected to the analog pin to test the program code beside it we have the size dimension of the holder and next to it we have an illustration on how the holder is used to capture x-ray images from the lateral view and above it we have an external design which is constructed in SketchUp so this is the sketch made in the software there's an additional slots for smaller sizes of x-ray cassette and a hinge placed on the center of the device to make it flexible and the Arduino system will be placed at the back of the device the expected results so all the results are taken from the simulation in Proteus so as you can see on the top left the display of distance measurement in minimum can measure to 4 cm and maximum for over than 1100 cm and below it the display of tail angle measurement using three sets of LDR for accelerometer to compute three axes X, Y and Z and then measure the tail angle measurement and on the top right we can see radiographer not using any assistive device when below it when the radiographer uses the holder the center of X-ray cassette is aligned with the center of patient's body from the lateral side and on the bottom right we can see the comparison between these two results the one on the left is not using any ST device and the one on the right is using the holder so some part of the spinal cord has been cut off and cannot be seen so this will disrupt with the radiologist uh, diagnostic in conclusion, this study has eased the radiographer in taking X-ray images from the lateral view. This device has also overcome the factors of poor X-ray images and lower the percentage of rejected X-ray film. And by this, the patients do not have to retake the X-ray test and this has lowered the rate of exposure to them. It has also eased the patients from moving and changing their postures, especially when taking X-ray images from the lateral view. This has also saved costs in terms of pricing in compared to other active devices. And that's all from me. Thank you.